Hey there, I'm not in the mood to dress up in my shirts today and uh, the Pac-Man one or whatnot, so I'm just gonna make a quick video, right, because I have a quick opinion from for today. Um, this morning I have been streaming a game on Twitch and I haven't been doing this for a very long time. Uh, basically I forgot all the little details, so I went ahead on Twitch to fetch my stream key and set up my uh, OBS quickly for, for, you know, for streaming and I forgot to put my Streamlabs uh, notification stuff um, so I was kind of trying to do that in the middle of the stream uh, and I realized there is no OBS browser option in the uh, OBS, right? I'm using Arch Linux and the OBS um, studio that comes with uh, Arch Linux from, from the repository, right? Uh, so I later I digged a little bit and um, there are some reasons why the OBS Studio um, browser plugin is not included in the main Arch repository, but actually uh, it is in uh, Arch user repository. And this is kind of weird because it should be bundled with, I don't know, I mean, this seems to be like a core functionality to me. Uh, you know, if you use the OBS Studio, there is a good chance that you're streaming and for streaming you usually need the browser plugin for a lot of stuff. Uh, so what I wanted to say is that in this modern day and age of Linux packaging, I think the, the reasoning for choosing different uh, distributions is becoming less of an importance. Uh, like, uh, are you taking the ultra stable Debian or bleeding edge Arch Linux? Um, some of the packages are basically coming down to picking them from Flatpak, from FlatHub repository. And I'm not saying this is a good thing or a bad thing, but you know, if you fetch the um, OBS Studio from FlatHub, uh, it will be bundled with every um, extension that you need. And also the third party plugin makers are only advertising their OBS Studio plugins for Linux to be hosted only on FlatHub, so you can't really get them. For example, there is a plugin called DroidCam, which I have uh, previously purchased for my phone, and that's what I use to, you know, stream from my phone wirelessly. Uh, it's really neat and practical, and for Linux it only exists as a plugin through the um, FlatHub. You can download it manually, but it's um, it's a bit of a complex process. Uh, so if you want to do it the easy way and have the updates, the only way to do it is basically through FlatHub. And also if you go to the um, OBS project download page, and if you are a Linux user, uh, there will be a, you know, a huge button to download from FlatHub, the whole OBS studio, right? So from the perspective of packaging on Linux, uh, I think this is a good thing uh, because the way I approach uh, flat packs and snaps and um, the core packages of your whatever distribution of choice is, uh, is basically through the uh, lens of the developer, right? So if you're developer of the application that you need, that you want to use, uh, is primarily uh, advertising flat hub, like for, for example, bottles as well, uh, then I think this is a good thing, right? You, you should not be uh, afraid or angry at this packaging uh, system because if the developer of their application is promising you first-class support for their application on FlatHub, then, you know, who, who am I to complain about that? I mean, I'm getting first-class support, everything is automatically updated, everything works, everything is tested, it's, um, it's a win-win situation for everyone, I think. And also, uh, you can stick with Debian as a, you know, a cutting edge, uh, stable distribution. So you get the uh, latest packaging that way. I'm going to see you in the next video. And if you can, uh, please support me uh, with my um, coffee link below because I'm still collecting some money to buy a refurbished ThinkPad for my uh, distro hopping, distro testing. Uh, things and um, bye. Thank you.